Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Grace and today we are continuing on watching season three of Heartstopper. Last time, episodes three and four, they were a doozy. They were a lot. They were very emotional, very intense, a little heavy. It was a ride, tissues were needed, but I'm hoping that now that Charlie is home from two months away at treatment, I'm hoping that like things are just gonna get better from here on out. Only good things for Nick and Charlie and Tao and Elle and Darcy and Tara and everyone else and Isaac and oh Imogen and Sahar who are seemingly I don't know I don't know actually because that happened at I was gonna say they're seemingly um not on great terms but that happened at Halloween and when Charlie came home it was December so who knows where they're at I'm interested to know what is gonna go down between them because they made out at the ha at the Halloween party that Sahar had and Imogen was like everyone kisses everyone when they're drunk and it's like babe come on throughout the whole season I've been getting this kind of vibe from Tara that like there's like something that's like waiting to come to the surface with Tara I feel like and like maybe it's just like what she was talking about in the first episode with Nick, how she's like freaking out about the future and everything. I feel like Tara might be going through something that like she hasn't really talked to anybody about. We'll just have a moment of Tara on screen and she just looks like uncomfortable or unsure or like nervous or I don't know. I feel like something might be going on with her. But I'm hoping for all good things ahead because you can't, you can't make me cry like that two, two times in a row. It's too much, <laughs> okay? We are going to be watching episodes five and six today and we are going to get right into it, starting with Heartstopper season three, episode five, called Winter. Hi Tori, how you doing? I feel like Tori's gonna be just dealing with whatever Tori needs to deal with, like in silence, because shit's going down with Charlie, and I feel that. Hi baby. I love them. Are you worried about today? No, I'm just thinking about what presents I'm gonna get. Christmas! I hope I get a soul. I hope I get good mental health. I hope I get a mum who can regulate her emotions. I hope Dad remembers to properly season the turkey. <laughs> he won't. Yeah, he won't. Oh, too real. Too real. Hi, Henry. I think you and Nelly are gonna be best friends, right? Yeah? Did they get a new dog? My Christmas would be better if I had a dog, too, if I got a new puppy. Hey, say hi, Henry. Happy Christmas, and I love you, too. And you can come over and meet him at any time, if you want. I know you've been stressed about today. Just, if it gets too much, there's a little guy here who needs hugs. You were Henry. <laughs> I did mean Henry, but actually that applies to me as well, so yeah. <sighs> oh, I feel like they're about to have very different Christmas experiences. It's okay if you're feeling stressed. Jeff said that was completely normal. I'm fine. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, good. Um, come sit down. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I get that they're trying to help, but like the hovering and the holiday stress might not help. You need to tell us about your boyfriend. What's his name? Nick. What about you, Tori? Any lovely men in your life? No. I didn't like the way she said that. I just hope this one turns out better. He might not end up being straight. You're so right. Charlie, when did you realise you were gay? This is... Oh, God, I hate it. You're making me not want to see my family for Christmas. Okay, Nick, if your shitty brother is here, why isn't your mom here? He always says he's gonna pop in and he never does. Stop acting like you know everything. Ever since your boyfriend became mentally deranged, you've been acting- I'm gonna fucking kill him. Don't say that about Charlie. I mean, I get it. Right? He wants attention. He stops eating. You have to be the hero who saves the day. Punch him. Punch him. Can you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> Thank you. He needs to get punched. If Nick was gonna punch 
Who was it, Harry, for saying shit about Charlie? You can put your brother. Come on. <laughs> Elle, were you looking at Tell? Join the view. What if I was? Some might say you fancy me. <gasps> I wonder what we'll do. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I'm obsessed with them. They've been having a great time this season, which I'm happy about. Oh. Oh. Maybe I said that too soon. Sorry. It's fine. Should we go for a walk? Yeah. Or you could talk about it because communication is key. It's a lot. You don't have to move at a pace you're not ready to be moving at. Can't imagine what Christmas would be like in a place like that. Um, they, they decorated it for Christmas. And Susan and Jeff were great. Did you meet anyone <sighs> like really crazy in there? You're not supposed to say that. We're just happy that Charlie's back to normal and back with us. Don't say back to normal. That's. What is normal? Fuck normal. Well, he seems great. As if nothing You else. seem like you don't know anything. Not everybody understands what you've been dealing with. So I just have to put up with ignorant comments from my own family. We just need to get through the day. <sighs> How about a snack? Yeah? Is there, is there a snack on your mind? I don't know. Can you stop pestering about food right now? You only managed half your dinner, and, and the dietitian said that that's... You're not helping. Okay, but eating it all is going to be good. I'm, I'm sorry I even tried. Don't act like you're, like, oh, stop it. Stop being like, oh, well, it's all my fault then because you don't know how to communicate with Charlie right now. I just can't deal with all of that. Mm, but you're going to leave Tori to deal with all of it. Christmas with me. Yeah. She loves you and she's worried about you. You spend all your time with Nick anyway. Because he treats me as something other than mentally ill. I do too. Yeah. It's just, it's been a lot. The holidays are tough sometimes. Why not let Tori come too? Then Tori and Nick can be besties with you. Hey. Hi hey baby, why are you here in the rain in December with no coat on? You're gonna get sick. I cut all the bruises off the Sorry, I had no argument with my mom. This whole day's been shit. Nick's hair is really shiny. <laughs> I love them. Oh. Take it, this is the boyfriend then. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about all them? Are you sure we don't want to talk about it? I just want to have a nice day. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. I know sometimes people are like, like they keep bringing it up because they want to like let you know that they're trying to understand and trying to like hear what you're saying and they're trying to help but it's like i don't need to be reminded that i'm mentally ill i know i'm more than aware so like you can chill you can just treat me like a normal person and we can talk that's so sweet i love that nick is like eating charlie says foods with him oh tori the fuck do you want, David? Did he text you? Oh, you're waiting for your dad that's not gonna show up. You know you got a real family who actually wanna hang out with you. Even though you suck. Your dad is family. I think family are the people who actually give a shit. So true, so real. You left me to fend for myself against our cousins. Yeah, your cousins seem like they kinda suck too. And I think mum might be willing to apologize. <laughs> the puppies. I hate Christmas. You don't. I hate this one. I think that's fair. I get that you're scared of being a burden. We just want to be there for you. Yeah. You have to let us. And not just say that you're fine when you're not. Yeah. I wish we could rewind and start today all over again. It's always New Year's Eve. Huh? New Year's Eve, new beginnings. I love a chance to completely reinvent myself. <laughs> I don't want to do anything unless you also want to do things. I mean, I think about it. Like, all the time. <laughs> More complicated for me. Yeah. And she might want to do things at a different pace. When you put your hand there. Oh, baby. Oh, oh my dysphoria just hit me. Yeah. Oh. It made me feel like my body wasn't my body. Like, 
Oh, that wasn't that at all. Damn. I'm sorry. Hey. That's so. That's intense. It's no pressure. Yeah. I'm sorry. I made you feel like that. It's okay. I, I know we haven't really talked about this before. So. Yeah. It's so good that you're talking about it now, though. I love everything about you. And whatever you want to do or not do. I love them so much. This is like the healthiest teenage relationship I've ever seen. <laughs> This just a random house party. Hey! Oh, is this their first time seeing him since he came home? My art keeps going like viral. And I got 20,000? That's incredible. <laughs> I love this. This is what he needed. He needed to be around his friends who just see him as Charlie and love him as Charlie. Oh, hi, Tara. You're a prefect, aren't you? Can you talk to my screen? What sorry, about? I, I've, I've just got to go. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, I feel like she's dealing with something that we don't know about. I don't think it's about my pronouns, but that's kind of it. I think I just want to see how I, how I feel for a bit. Yeah, I, you don't need to rush to come out as anything. Just chill and, like, have fun with it. Yeah! I love that. I think that's such an important message for anyone. Me and Tao, we want to have sex. Oh my god. No. That's big. But it's a big deal. I mean, yeah. What if he touches me and, and I just freak out. Then you stop. I don't have to do anything. Exactly. I hate that this yeah. is stopping me from being with him in that way. You trust him and he loves you and... <laughs> anything goes wrong i'll be here for you and he'll be there for you yeah everyone's having important conversations i feel like we're moving in the right directions how's your night mm, better than christmas mm. that's a pretty low bar <laughs> <laughs> how are your friends off being fun one day you're gonna make friends with someone you actually enjoy being around the only person i care about is you I feel Tori so hard. Almost midnight. Make sure you got someone to kiss. God, I was hoping we wouldn't see him this season. Here we go. We haven't spoken properly since Halloween, and now you're here to kiss me at midnight. I wanted to apologize for Halloween. Hmm, yeah, okay. Very late, two months late, but an apology's an apology. I wasn't doing it for attention or anything. I didn't really know what I was doing. Hey, you don't have to figure everything out all at once. Want to be just an experiment to you. But I get that. Especially when you know you're the reason I realized I was buying in the first place. Oh, that's big. I didn't know that, I didn't know that either. I'm pretty, but he don't see me as an equal. Hello. It's definitely midnight by now. <laughs> you guys aren't doing this here at the party right now? Oh, they're just sitting off fireworks in the backyard. Woo, happy new year! Oh my god, love that for them. Oh, oh shit, oh shit! Y'all are doing the out of house party! That's crazy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So cute. That was episode five of season three of Heartstopper. Oh, that was a good one. I feel like we're moving in the right directions, like everywhere. Oh, I feel like that was a really good ending. Like going into the next episode, I'm feeling very positive. Like Christmas was rough. Not, not a fun time at Christmas, but the holidays are, are the holidays kind of suck sometimes, okay? But we had a lot of good progress this episode, you know? The New Year's was good for Charlie, 
and Nick and Charlie got to see his friends again for the first time since coming home and that was really sweet. Tao and Elle talked a lot. They had a lot of great open communication about taking their relationship to the next step and then I did not expect them to start getting it on at the New Year's party at a house party. That was, that's a little wild to me. I still feel like something's going on with Tara and Imogen and Sahar had a little New Year's kiss too. Sahar mentioned that Imogen was the reason that she found out she was bi and then they had a little New Year's kiss. I'm looking forward to the next episode. I'm hoping that things continue to go in the direction that we were going in because I feel very good about where we ended things in this episode. So we are going to get right into it and we are going to start Heartstopper Season 3 Episode 6 called Body. It's been Jeff! so since you left impatient. <laughs> yeah, I should bake a cake or something. April, that's so good. You've come a long way, Charlie. What, you don't agree? Oh, gosh, we're doing time jumps? We're in April now. You settled back in a school in January. I'm here if you want any extra support, okay? Whatever you need. <laughs> I like Mr. Farouk. Hey, Hey! Look, he's got friends on the rugby team! Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of help. That's okay! I still relapsed two weeks after. Can you just eat half? I said I can't. Mm -hmm. You're making me feel like shit. If you're gonna sit there and make me feel insane, just fuck off! Mm. I don't like that. You are three months clean. That's great. You feel you and Nick have progress in your relationship? Probably since that night of the argument. I mean, you see me at my absolute rock bottom and hasn't run away screaming. <laughs> if your intrusive thoughts have lessened, you've got more energy to give to your relationship. Oh! That kind of energy, okay. <laughs> more energy, yeah. <laughs> now you thinking about making out with your boyfriend during therapy. And enjoy your birthday and party hard. Sixteen's yeah. birthday! I'm nervous about this one. Wow, this captures your spirit as well as your likeness. Wow, that's gorgeous. Now, we've had contact from a local radio station about you. What? what? They want to interview you. Look, that's crazy. Completely up to you, but I do want you to think about whether it's something you feel comfortable with. I'll email you the details. Thank you. Wait, that's so cool. Good to have some fun. <laughs> Is he drumming again? That makes me happy. Happy birthday. <laughs> birthday! Is that Instagram famous historian you like? Jack Maddox? He's doing a book signing on Sunday, so I thought maybe we could go after the sleep. Is this the episode we get him in? <laughs> I love them. That's right, you use your energy to put towards your relationship, Charlie. My parents are out, but please don't break anything or be sick anywhere, please. <laughs> Things have been so awkward between me and Sahar since New Year's. Like, we're still friends. I, I think. Have you just not talked about it? You've made out twice, you haven't talked about it at all? Sounds like you should probably talk to her about that. Thank you! Charlie, we need a drama for our summer fate slot, and you're literally the only person we know! I... I don't know. I don't really like performing in front of people. But that'd be so fun! No, guys, wait, I actually have a pretty good idea. Oh, yeah? Who's at the door? Hello. Oh, hello. Hi, Michael. Happy birthday. Hi, Michael. 16 is when everything starts to make sense. Or when nothing is makes it? any sense anymore. <laughs> uh, this is for you. I found him at a charity shop and he just had you. I love him. Also, it made me sad seeing him sitting on a shelf on his own. So, uh, okay, well, um... Bye everyone! I Have love a fun Michael. Time. <laughs> um, if you can't tell, I'm a fan of little guys, so that cat is everything to me. I feel like this season in particular things have progressed and gotten more like mature theme-wise. Cause like last time when they were in Paris, they like started drinking for the first time and now they're like drinking a lot, going out w at parties and having sex and like, I don't know, I think it's like 
it's interesting, but it's also like, I feel like it's also like accurate to like growing up. I feel like that kind of stuff happens quickly and then it's just like part of the things that you do safely. Things have been really awkward with us. Yeah. So like, are you just not gonna talk about it? I've been doing a lot of thinking and reflecting recently. I have no idea who I am. Well, yeah, you're 16. I don't really know much about anything at the moment, actually. That checks out. <laughs> so I don't want to keep hurting you. Do you hate me? Mood. <laughs> I don't think I could ever hate you. Oh. You helped me realize something pretty big about myself. That's sweet. I guess I could say the same about you. I love this. I love seeing them all together just happy and having fun. Options? Mm. Gap year for sure. I love staying at my grand's. Mm. Tara, what about you? Uh huh. I don't know. Guys, can we not talk about uni stuff right now? You don't need. No, oh, yeah, baby. You're going to Oxford, aren't you? Yeah, you're doing all that Oxford stuff. So excited. Tara? Oh, she's going through it. This is, it's a big year, it's a lot. Oh, baby. Oh, okay, okay, I think, I think you're having a panic attack. It's okay, my, my, my therapist gave me some exercises to help clear my brain. Okay, maybe don't talk about it, maybe just help her. <laughs> yeah. Breathe in for three. And breathe out. Oh, I love that he was there to help her. Going through a panic attack alone is the worst. Chilling, had a few drinks, but everything's fine. Everything's good. Hey, Tara, you okay? Just stressed about everything right now. Charlie was helping. That was amazing. I'm so drunk right now. <laughs> Planning on it. Let's get you some water, okay? That's a good idea. There's so many empty bottles around. I've been thinking about something. Mm -hmm. <gasps> mm -hmm. Get do things. <laughs> Not very specific. Have sex. <laughs> oh. I think about it all the time. <laughs> Same thing that Tao said. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Uh, yeah, you're teenagers and you're in love. We can go upstairs. <laughs> you're gonna do it right. You have people in your house. Y you're incredibly drunk. Yeah. When I'm sober, I'm scared that, that you'll look at me. Never. I, I, think, I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Um, let's go to the toilet. Come on. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, I feel so ill. That's called the hangover, babe. <laughs> Morning, campers. Mum and Dad will be back in half an hour. Just so you know. There's a lot of bottles you gotta clean that shit up. I could make egg on toast. I feel like you guys need the egg on toast. I agree, Michael. Did he stay over? Yeah. So? I can have friends over too. Mm. Friends? I'm sorry, you're in a tent with your boyfriend right now. You can't say anything. How do you feel? I'd feel less nervous if you got that camera out my face. You're about to be on the radio, babe. Famous artist, now Argent for her big first interview. And if you're lost for words, you can just talk about what great parents we are and how <laughs> everything you've achieved is thanks to us. <laughs> Stop. 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 Is this the first time we're seeing her dad? Is her dad kind of a dilf? Oh my god. We're seeing Johnny Bailey! Are you ready to meet the love of your life? You're so generous <laughs> right now. I can't believe I'm about to be replaced. I would also be jealous if I was meeting Johnny Bailey. Hey. <gasps> Hi! Oh my god, he's so hot. He's so hot! Um, well, I just started to post my art to my social media. Um, just wanting to share it with my friends and family. 
but it just started to get more and more likes and now I have over 50,000 followers. That's amazing. That's incredible. Now, much of your art explores your identity as a young trans woman. Why is that your focus? Because that's who she is. It's a big part of who I am, so I like to explore and express that in the art that I create. And that's so important right now, isn't it? <sighs> trans identities are the hot topic of the moment. Some call it a culture war. No. I think it's so important <sighs> we hear all voices and opinions, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on the debate. Trans they, people they, are <sighs> a debate by yeah. human beings. I hate this. I hate this. They brought this on so they could seem woke and fucking... I hate this. I think I need to go. I'm sorry if I, I offended you. I... It was inappropriate and it is manipulative and... I yeah, if you were gonna talk about this, you should have fucking told them before the interview. That's fucked up. You will know. You can't trust a Mesopotamian to source your copy of God. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, young man in the denim jacket. Hey. I was just wondering if you had any book recommendations about queerness in ancient Greece. <laughs> That's a wonderful question. I love this. Hi, uh, I'm a really big fan. I probably want to do classics at you. Really big so fan. You're a big inspiration to me. <gasps> that is so lovely to hear. Classics was my favorite at school. <laughs> and. Don't ignore your Latin vocab. Thanks. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, what can you do for... Uh, me? No. For Nick? The Mesopotamian joke was... <laughs> nice to meet you. Really nice to meet you. Uh, you... Yeah, nice to meet you. Um, sorry. <laughs> me! It's really hot. <laughs> That's so good. I love them. Oh, I don't like that. Don't keep going if you're not okay. I wish it'd stop. No, no, no. wait. Charlie. Door open, please, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Had a nice time today? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Just go to Nick's. His mom's not there. Where is she? I'm nervous about taking my shirt off. I, I don't look like Jack Maddox or anything. Who, who looks like Jack Maddox, honestly? You don't have to look like him. You know that I've got scars. I know. That's okay. You know I really fancy you, like infinitely more than Jack Maddox. Mm. I like you so much. I, I love you. <laughs> I want you. I really did want to carry on. I really want. To... Mom, have you seen my laptop charger? Maybe with, not with the door open. <laughs> I just don't understand why I get so anxious about it. We've talked about how you get mm. anxious when you feel like you don't have control. And being with another person is literally giving up all of your control. Because you and Nick respect and trust each other, and you communicate and listen to each other, then you're safe. Yeah. As long as you practice safe sex. That's right, Jeff. We can get some free condoms from the reception. I, I, obviously we will. Mm, but take the free condoms. I wish I was more confident. Aren't you the one who confessed your feelings to Nick first? Yeah. Even know whether he liked you back. Whether you didn't even know if you liked boys? But feel confident. That's just a challenge you're gonna have to face. And not just with Nick, but with every aspect of your life. But I know you have it in you, Charlie. We really do. Yay! Uh, we love therapy! Well, there was our Johnny Bailey cameo. I loved that. That was so cute. Oh my god. That was episodes five and six of season three of Heartstopper. Healing isn't linear. So, you know, we go up, we go down, but we made a lot of progress, I feel like, in these episodes. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling really good about where we're going heading into the last two episodes. I'm, I'm very excited. I can't believe there's only two episodes left. I get like this every time I finish a season of Heartstopper. I'm like, oh no, I want to watch more. Because I just love them. But that was so fun. 
We got introduced to Michael this episode. Yeah, and I love that for Tori. I love Tori having somebody in her life that's not just Charlie. Because I feel like she was just constantly worrying about Charlie. And you know, now she has somebody else. And Michael bought Charlie a little guy. And I love little guys. I don't know, I'm feeling really good about where we're heading into the last two episodes. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching these two episodes of season three of Heartstopper with me. I had a good time, I hope you guys had a good time. I will leave our previous reactions down below. Our last Heartstopper reaction, season three of Bridgerton, Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which we just finished up. I will also leave all of my social medias down there if you wanna check those out and follow me outside of here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stick around. We've got the last two episodes of Heartstopper coming up, season three of Bridgerton, and then uh, we're gonna start Big Mood later this week, uh, on Friday. If you're watching this when this comes out, on Friday we're gonna start watching Big Mood, um, which I actually filmed back in April when it came out, but I just haven't gotten around to editing it and getting it up. So we're finally gonna get that up on the channel. And then we're gonna watch some movies later on this month, some fall, cozy, fun movies, um, heading into the holiday season. Uh, I hope you are all having a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will see you all very soon for the last two episodes of season three of Heartstopper. Bye!